And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello everyone and welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Monday, September 1st, 2025. And in the weather-related headlines, we still have a few flood warnings and advisories in effect for areas of the uh, western interior. And there's going to be some more rain moving through there uh, over the next couple of days, so water levels are going to remain high. And uh, we'll highlight uh, those areas here coming up. Also, uh, some gusty winds coming in off the Bering Sea. A high surf advisory is in effect now into Tuesday morning for the lower Yukon coast, where water levels could be a couple of feet higher than the normal high tide. And then heat advisories for very warm and dry conditions are in effect for both the southern and northern parts of the Panhandle on Tuesday and Wednesday. And a quick look at a couple of the FAA webcams. Uh, Imanic uh, High Surf Advisory is in effect. Uh, winds will be picking up uh, through tonight into Tuesday morning. And that's going to cause some high surf there along the coast, at least for a period here, uh, as an area of low pressure quickly moves across uh, the Seward Peninsula up into the Bering Strait. Cloak in the southern panhandle, already up to 75 degrees, a heat advisory in effect uh, for the southern panhandle, including Cloak and Ketchikan, Malakatla, as well as Haines and Skagway and Juneau. That'll be Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon, where high temperatures will reach the mid-70s to lower 80s. And this image uh, has, was submitted the other day by Sebastian uh, Weiser there in Dawson City. He said there was a beautiful display of the northern lights on Saturday night. And there is a chance this Monday night, once nightfall comes, that the aurora could be uh, ongoing as a result of a coronal mass ejection that has arrived this Monday afternoon. And it's triggering at least a G1 minor to maybe G3 strong uh, geomagnetic storm. So that means enhanced aurora likely after dark this Monday night and could even be visible as far south as the central uh, lower 48 and we're at moon phase just one day past first quarter and here's a, a, a great image yesterday I showed you uh, at ground level um, on Saturday what these cabins looked like but this was just before the crest uh, peak of the flooding came through Talkeetna we have the Susitna River here the Talkeetna River and at that just below the confluence if you're familiar with Talkeetna there's some rental cabins there on the northwest corner of town and that Water level came up very quickly a Friday afternoon and evening, and it peaked out right around uh, 10, 11 p.m. that night. So since then, the water levels have come down quite a bit, but we do have more rain on the way. There's rain currently pushing uh, in from the west coast. Also, a feed of moisture coming up out of the North Pacific across the Alaska Peninsula, Bristol Bay, into the southwest interior along and just west of the Alaska Range. So it's going to be another wet one up through uh, the Kuskokwim Valley and extending northward. So some of the rivers up through this way are under flood watches through Wednesday morning as a result of additional one to three inches of rain that could fall. Also some heavier rains could return to the upper Susitna Valley. We're not anticipating the big rivers to have any major flood problems, but the feeder rivers and creeks certainly could see some rapid rises coming up here. Uh, as we go through uh, Tuesday night and on especially Wednesday, early Thursday. So we have this flood watch in effect into Wednesday morning for the Noatak, Kobuk, uh, Koyukuk River basins for at least another one to three inches of rain. Water levels are still high here. We still have a flood warning for uh, Alakaket and Hughes, though the water levels are coming down this weekend. And then a flood advisory at Kobuk. And then as we ha still have flood advisories uh, on the middle Susitna River region, uh, but water levels are slowly receding. These are big, slow draining rivers when you get all that kind of rain. So again, there'll be more rain moving into this area of South Central as we head into uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday. And then out along the West Coast tonight, we have a high surf advisory, Imanic down toward Hooper Bay. There's a potent shortwave associated with low pressure that's gonna track northeastward. And that's gonna bring some gusty or south-southwest winds as we go through tonight and into the, f at least through Tuesday morning. Water levels could be uh, a couple of feet higher than the uh, uh, normal high tide. And then we have uh, still some rain and breezy conditions along Bristol Bay, though conditions there will be um, 
slow to improve. We still have a feed of that moisture coming northward. And then here in the panhandle, we have a ridge of warm high pressure. So we have heat advisories for both Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon, early evenings. This includes Juneau up toward Skagway, Haines, as well as especially Klawak, Craig on over toward Ketchikan, Metlakatla, and Hyder. High temperatures both Tuesday and Wednesday will be in the mid-70s to lower 80s with the warmest day for the north coming up on Wednesday. So this has been a prolonged warm and dry pattern for them. You may finally get some rain showers moving in there by the weekend, but much of this upcoming week is going to uh, see above normal temperatures with dry conditions. And again, right now, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, in the shorter term, looking quite warm, 70s to lower 80s. Last bit of fire danger here in the upper portion of the Tanana Valley around Toke and Northway. But other than that, the rest of the state uh, fire danger is essentially over. We also have dry conditions here in the southern panhandle. Not a major fire weather concern area, though the fine fuels, you can get a little brush fire, grass fire as a result of that. So be careful there in the southern panhandle uh, handling any fire or tools and things that could throw a spark. Looking at the satellite imagery, this is very clearly shows we have the ridge of high pressure like this. So the Gulf Coast into the panhandle, dry and warm. Here's that feed of moisture coming northward. And there's yet another area of low pressure that will be lifting Tuesday across the Alaska Peninsula, heading up toward Bristol Bay. And we have the low sitting out here right now in the central bearing. That low is going to continue to weaken, but accelerate as it works northeastward. There's going to be, at, before though it winds down, there's little piece of energy rotating around it with some stronger winds. That's why there's that high surf advisory along the lower Yukon coast tonight into Tuesday morning. Also could be some higher surf, special weather statement for the areas along the east side of, of uh, Norton Sound, especially there east of Golovin and down towards Stebbins. So that, that area too, you could also see uh, water levels a bit higher, especially with high tide and those gusty uh, winds as they turn a bit more southwesterly. So late tonight into uh, Tuesday morning, we have the low pressure swing through. There's that little, uh, little burst of uh, stronger winds coming through with that, that uh, enhanced feature. The front already pulling inland, stalling out uh, south of the Alaska Peninsula, waiting for the next low. We still have surface high pressure, northern Pacific into the Gulf. That's what's bringing the dry and warm conditions to the panhandle here for early midweek. And then on Tuesday, we find that system tomorrow afternoon will be pushing up through the Bering Strait and that little trough that rotates through that the gusty winds will continue northeastward. Front kind of stalls out just near south central Kenai Peninsula down to along the Alaska Peninsula, still have high pressure north Pacific and up into the lower Gulf. Then on Wednesday, we have another low come up that will be crossing the Aleutian, uh, or I should say the Alaska Peninsula Tuesday night and by Wednesday afternoon pushing inland from Bristol Bay and Kuskokwim Bay. And that feature then will quickly race northeastward by Thursday. And we find that the ridge will start to begin to break down there over the southeast. But overall, much of this week uh, quite warm and they'll have another low we'll keep an eye on way out toward the Aleutians Thursday afternoon. So low temperatures, 50s generally speaking in the panhandle where there's clear skies, a few spots will get in the 40s. Generally, the mainland seeing uniform temperatures, 40s to lower 50s, all across the mainland because we have a fairly uniform air mass. Then, as we look at Tuesday afternoon, we could see 71 at Northway for a warmer spot. Look at 80 degrees, Craig, as well as Ketchikan up toward Juneau. That's why there's that heat advisory. Wednesday morning, 40s, much of the mainland, 50s in the panhandle, some 50s in south central along the Gulf Coast. And then up to 74 there at Northway. So still some warm air along the Elkan border. And again, across the Panhandle, some more 70s to lower 80s possible Wednesday afternoon with those heat advisories continuing. Six to 10 day outlook, September 7th through the 11th, past the first week of September, above normal temperatures likely Panhandle. Much of the eastern and southeastern portion of the mainland, including along the Gulf Coast, and then precipitation, drier than normal, still expected over the panhandle, especially central southern areas. And then generally a bit above normal precipitation as we get past the first week of September. And it will continue across much of the mainland, maybe a little enhanced area there on the uh, south slopes of the Western Brooks Range there just east and northeast of Kotzebue Sound.